I didn't see you there. Oh, this thing? It's just the Noya Alpha server. Rocking an Intel Xeon processor E5 2632 gigs of RAM, twin rated SSDs for database storage, and over a terabyte for backup storage. Hello everybody and welcome back to Noia Dev, the series that aims to prove that one developer can create a successful MMORPG. My name is Dane and this week on Noia Dev we're getting the alpha server physically set up in my office and getting user registration set up. Let's get into this. So first of all, I had to get my office into somewhat of a clean state before I could move the server from my garage storage into the office space. Living with two tiny humans, no space is your own. Ever. Once I got that all cleaned up, I was able to take my rolling crash cart desk out of the closet here and get the server set up on it. While the server isn't that loud while it's running, uh, it still does put out a decent amount of heat and my office did very quickly uh, raise in temperature up to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit and I was pretty uncomfortable there. That wasn't a huge problem for me because I've always been looking for an excuse to get a portable air conditioner put into my office and now I had that excuse. One big problem though, the air conditioner needs to be able to vent heat outside and I only have the one window in my office. I didn't want to cut holes in any walls and vent into the attic or anything like that. And unfortunately, the window opened in the wrong direction. It opened from right to left instead of left to right. So the opening was actually behind my desk. After inspecting the window frame and all the ways that it's held together, I concluded that these things are actually meant to be able to flip upside down and reverse their opening direction. And that's exactly what I did. After unscrewing all the pieces, flipping it upside down and screwing it all back together, the window now opens left to right. I was then able to take the plastic baffle that came with the air conditioner and install it into the window frame and snap in the exhaust tube and drag it down to the air conditioner and it worked great. My office is just over 110 square feet and this air conditioner is an 8000 BTU air conditioner which is rated for up to 350 square feet. It was more than capable of dropping the temperature in my office down to 65 degrees Fahrenheit and completely freezing me out. I then installed good old Windows Server 2019. While the end result of Noia Online will not be run on Windows, I am most familiar with Windows, so that is what we're going to be running our alpha test on. I understand how to get a Linux system set up and I could probably stumble through it. I have very little experience with getting Apache working for a web server, so we're just going with what I know for now. In a previous devlog, I had given a list of items that needed to be complete before the alpha server could be launched, and those were going to be the only things that I worked on up until the alpha launch, and unfortunately, I completely forgot that user registration was an absolutely needed thing. Out of the box, UMMO allows for users to simply put in a username and passwords are optional and click login. If the username for the account does not exist yet, then it automatically creates it with the password given. That unfortunately invites malicious actors and bots of all kinds. And so one of the most basic ways of staving off that sort of malicious activity is to require email verification. My first thought on how to do email verification was going to be what's called URL callback, where it generates a specific URL to the user. After looking into it, it was a little bit more complicated than I needed at the moment, maybe one day, but instead what I can do is just simple two-factor authentication. So as of right now, the server generates a six digit code and emails the user's email address. Getting this set up was a little bit more of a pain than I expected because of how UMMO was set up and its automatic account creation I had to essentially first break that function and split out the different parts of it. 
I then had to create custom packets for user creation, password reset, and the two-factor authentication challenge. These custom packets were required because at this point in time, when the user is logging in or requesting a password reset, they are not actively logged in. There is no authenticated session there that I can piggyback off of and send data back and forth. We only have this rudimentary connection and communication pathway. Unfortunately, this user registration process has taken up a lot of my time in the last couple of days because I essentially had to go through and learn how Mirror and UMMO work together to create that authentication process and then teach myself how to safely break it and rebuild it the way I need it. Aside from getting the server physically set up in the office and getting user registration and password resets all set up, the starting map is in a working first draft state, as I would call it here. Um, all of the monsters are in. I still have to set up stats for monsters and weapons and skills. I have not done that yet, but it is all complete. I have a couple of rough, roughed out quests. Here for the player to get their first starting items as well as I have finished the rough draft of the storyline that's going to take place in the underworld here. So that's it for this week. We got the alpha server physically set up. It's ready to it's ready to go. Um, we got the user registration working. There's just a few more uh, bits of polish that need to go into Noya before we get the alpha up. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to follow along in the dev updates. Be sure to join the Discord server. I post daily updates there of what I'm doing, so don't miss out on that. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.